How's it going everyone? Um, it's Levi. This week's topic is talking about uh, intersections in our life that are heavily tied to being trans. And when I first read the topic for this week, I was really like, I don't know what the word is, but I was just, I feel like there's so many intersections of my life that are tied to being trans that I couldn't list them all. Um, some major ones that are like heavily tied to it. I think my relationship now is heavily tied to me being trans. There's, okay, this cat. It's not even my cat. I don't know whose cat it is. But he's cute. But I have no idea whose cat this is. It's just in our apartment. What was I saying? So yeah, my relationship. Um, it kind of... I think the intimacy of our relationship. Because she would ask me like these questions about being trans when I wasn't out yet. And so it really... Um, I think it just, it strengthened our relationship when it grew into a romantic relationship, I think. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense. Moving from California to Washington definitely helped in my discovery because I felt like I could focus on myself. Um, I wasn't in this high school state of mind anymore where you know I didn't even know what trans was and I didn't I didn't fully understand gender um, and I think coming to college and learning about all these different <laughs> things the cat um, helped a lot and I think, I think just meeting people who are trans sparked it a little bit. Um, how I view things, how I perceive people, that's heavily tied to me being trans because I stop assuming people's genders and I stop assuming their pronouns and um, yeah, that's definitely because I've become less ignorant about gender as a whole. Everything has become intersectioned with my identity. Everything in my life. Um, I know it's not everything. My identity isn't who I am um, as a whole. <laughs> it's just... Like, I know it's just a small part of who I am, but it connects with every aspect of who I am and what I do on a daily basis. Um, not a day goes by where I don't, like, think of my identity or my transition or that I am trans. Um, it's, whether it's in a good way or a bad way, um, whether it's dysphoria or feeling good about myself is just, it's always intersecting. <laughs> so yeah, uh, personal updates. Um, I've been going to my gender therapist. I've had my third session this week. Well, I'm pretty stoked on it. Um, probably gonna be getting my letter for tea next month, hopefully. Um, still unsure about if I'm even gonna go on tea. I'm still in the process of figuring all that out. Um, so I've been kind of stressing about that. Um, and I'm almost done with school. So, yeah, a lot of stress has been going on, but I'm pushing through it. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. Have a good day. Have a good week. Have a good life. Tell the people you love that you love them. Um, and yeah, just like, 
take care of yourselves. Okay, I'm gonna go find this cat.